Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Nevin from Nez Tech Pits, and today we're going to do an unboxing and a test of this Spindo hard drive duplicator. I found this thing on sale on Amazon.ca. It was one of the flash deals at Christmas. And yeah, I've always wanted a hard drive duplicator, uh, not just a dual dock, but actually uh, having two docks. And then you just press a button and it duplicates. Yeah, so let's take a look at what we got here. Nothing too fancy, simple box. Uh oh, European power. USB 3.0. I had heard someone say it would be European power, but uh, it looks like a pretty standard power, so I'm sure I can get one of those somewhere. I'm liking the look of it so far. brick. No, huh, no American. No North American. I'm disappointed in that. All I got was this European plug. But again, since uh, it's that standard size, come on, auto focus. I can get that. I got one of those kicking around somewhere. It's just a uh, pain in the ass that I have to find it. Pretty sure I paid 40 bucks for this. Shrink wrapped plastic. Very nice. So I just checked, I paid uh, $44.99. The StarTech version is $75. This is definitely the cheapest <laughs> that they'll come. So I've always wanted a hard drive cloner. Let's uh, slam in some drives and try her out. Alright, so I've had time to test this thing out, to take it out, and take the saran off of it. And first things first, this thing feels really nice. Some kind of metal alloy around the ends, and again, some kind of lighter, I believe it's a metal alloy top. I like that. Uh, this is one of the cheapest ones I could find, but it also feels the sturdiest, which is really nice, of course. So, just throw it out there. I have issues when I turn it on. And then plug the drives in. Oh yeah, and that's going to make a fool out of me now. There we go. Okay, so I can get the first one to work. That's what happened in the basement, or when I was downstairs, sorry. If I turn it on without anything in, and plug two drives in, nothing. I can usually get one to work. Can't even get one to work. You can tell it's working because you got your HDD1, HDD2. If I turn it off, start it right back online. We have them. No problem. No problem. So, if we want to clone, what we do is we press and we hold this button right here. That's the clone button. Here, here's a better view of uh, the buttons. But anyways, press and hold this for three seconds, and it'll start cloning. If you see that little blue light going back and forth, you know it started cloning. Anyways, I was using this last night to clone a drive. I waited for about a half an hour, and I wasn't even at 25%. So, you know what? Maybe this will be the test. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, so right now we're an hour into this trial and we're over 50%. So this is definitely one of the slower ones I've used before. I, I'm pretty sure that by now I could have backed it up with Macram Reflect and uh, cloned it right over. But uh, this is a one-touch thing. It's going to take a little bit longer. I should mention that these are uh, 7200 RPM hard drives. It should be mentioned that you can't resize any of these. Uh, so when you're cloning, the one you want to have cloned goes in the drive 1, and the one that you want to clone 2 goes to drive 2. But I really should mention that uh, they have to be about the same size. The one you're cloning 2 has to be equal or bigger. It's not going to resize anything at all. Alright, so we're all done. It took about 2 hours. Uh, could be better. Could be worse. I'm pretty sure I could have got this done quicker if I used Macrium Reflect and just had these two drives inside of a tower. But then again, there's a lot to be said about simplicity, and simply pressing a button is pretty simply simple. Anyways, 
Have a good one, guys. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And uh, drop me a comment if uh, you think I missed anything. Have a good one.